I'm Spencer Fisher. And uh, how many times did you fight in the UFC? Um, I'm not sure. I, I've had a lot of fights. 17 times. And uh, Spencer, first off, congratulations on a very big victory for you. This is the first time in your career that you were stuck in a two-fight losing streak. You really needed this win, right? My, yeah, my back was against the wall for this fight, and um, I knew it was do or die for this situation, and I trained my butt off for this fight. And uh, I was out there, and I knew the, my back was against the wall, but I had a lot of fun out there tonight. So uh, it's back to the old Spencer Fisher. My biggest fight had to be with uh, Sam Stout, for sure. Uh, we did it three times, and uh, I took the first one on a two, day, two, two days notice, and uh, uh, I thought it was a close fight. And uh, the second fight was my uh, highlight of my career. I beat him at his own game, and uh, he just worked out in the third time. Ironically, I was his first fight in the UFC, and I was his last, you know, or he was my last, so in the, in the UFC. And it takes two to put on a good fight, and Sam brought the best out of me. How did your career come to an end? Um, I ended up getting, uh, going for a physical, and I, they found lesions in my brain, and which led to uh, further studies, and I found that I have dementia. What's your day-to-day -day life like? I, I forget where I'm going, um, depression, um, dizzy spells, um, calling people different names, not knowing their actual name. Uh, my kids, uh, I've had incidents in the past that I couldn't think of their name on the spot, and uh, just my balance is shot. Um, I have a hard time remembering what I did yesterday, you know, and last week's a complete blur. You know, my long-term memory uh, is okay, but my short-term memory is, is gone. So, you know, I, I gotta support a family that uh, understands my conditions and um, tries to help me out the best they can. I don't wanna die alone and not know anybody when I see them. I don't wanna uh, go out of this world not knowing people that I love, you know, or, or not knowing new people. You know, I have daughters that are gonna be married one day and have a family of their own, and I wanna be um, mentally around the, that I can talk to them. Do you think your injuries are the result of your career fighting in the UFC? Of course, of course. Uh, I never had any symptoms uh, before, and I've had testing done before, and they never found anything. And then, uh, you know, they did the, um, whatever it's called, the EEG or the CAT scan, and they found these uh, lesions on my head. Uh, it wasn't, uh, they didn't know what it was right away. And then I had to get more uh, testing done and then they found the uh, proteins for dementia. Do you think that the, U the UFC has any responsibility to help you long-term? Uh, well, I gave up on that hope uh, uh, years ago. I was hoping so, uh, you know, I always looked, uh, you know, when they're, you're part of the UFC and you're doing well, you know, I, you get phone calls and, uh, you know, I, I, you think you have a good relationship with certain people. And I kept thinking, you know, the reason it took me so long to talk about this is because I you know, kept telling uh, people that either they're going to help out, they're going to do something about this. You know, the, they had my results of my testing and uh, I just thought that it would happen. And uh, my wife told me, you know, just don't expect that phone call or expect anything to happen because uh, they got a business to run, they got other fighters, and you're just uh, a guy from the past that, you know, they, you do your part and it's over, you know? So, but uh, she said, it's, you know, it's wishful thinking for um, to think anything was going to change, so. And why did you decide to talk about this now? Because um, I know now nothing's going to happen and I'm only going to get worse. Um, um, 
I just don't want anybody else to have to go through the same thing. And, and I do I think that I, if I had heard someone tell me this, um, I guess it would have been on who it was telling me the story. And uh, because when you're young, you're, you're thinking of the right now and uh, living in the moment and the money at the time. And, and uh, even though it wasn't great, you know, I got a lot of bonuses and got sponsors at the time. And uh, I was living happy, you know, happily. And, uh, then one day it always comes to an end regardless of what sport you're in but the uh, injuries i took for, from it uh just i don't know yeah, i don't know if it was worth it you know and now my message is to tell people that hey this is a possibility this could happen to you and it's very real and it's changed my life this is my career this is how i pay my bills and uh I just uh, knew it was a do or die, and, and it kept that in the back of my mind. I have a family to feed, and uh, just that was all the motivation I needed, needed to get out there. But I don't know. I, I'm just one person talking, but I, I know for a fact there are other people out there. The symptoms may be not as severe as mine, um, but there are, you know, there are guys out there uh, that do have problems and um, physically. Uh, so. I just hope that people realize that along with the, the spotlight, your tendency spotlight and fame, it does come to an end. And sometimes um, the problems that come with it uh, are lifelong, you know. When all the fans and uh, Dana and everybody's gone, you know, you're, you're stuck alone. And uh, just need to be aware of that.